right. Get things set up here. Looks like we uh, are ready to go. Just make sure our technology is working as planned. Hello, my name is Daniel, and I will be your host today here with Vantage Point AI. We're going to be talking about uh, finding explosive trades with the help of artificial intelligence. Just want to make sure from a technology standpoint, everything is up and running. I've got, uh, looks like my screens are working great. My camera's working good. Hopefully my mic is working as planned. Uh, I see there's comments coming in. Hello, Brian. How's it going? Renee, good morning. Good morning. Bagger Vance. <laughs> good morning. Thank you for being there. I love the screen name. We'll give everybody a minute to get uh, set up for our our session today. Today's going to be a great session. We're going to walk through uh, the benefits of artificial intelligence, help everybody in attendance join, um, you know, and understand uh, where the AI can really uh, bring some added benefits to what you're doing in the financial markets, even take your trading to the next level by looking at the markets from a perspective that is just humanly impossible. And that's one of the benefits to using artificial intelligence. So as, as we get signed in here and everybody gets up and running, we will get things kicked off. Just a quick reminder for everybody that we are talking about trading here on today's live session. Trading involves risk. You shouldn't be trading with money you can't afford to lose. That's why they call it risk capital, right? Money management is key. There is no perfect solution out there, but we're talking about stacking the odds in your favor with the benefit of artificial intelligence. Hey, good morning, Clarence. Glad you're in with us today. Looks like everything is working. We've got chats flowing in. We've got conversations happening and everything is working as designed. Also, I am gonna go through the details of Vantage Point. I'll share with you what other people have said and what other people have done. I'm not sharing those details with you to tell you you're gonna be just like them. Their results may be atypical and I haven't verified their results, but I do like to share with you what other people have said either through the comments or through uh, my experience here uh, with Vantage Point. I've been utilizing the technology we're going to dig into now for over a decade. Uh, on top of my over 25 years experience in the financial markets, I'm hoping I can show you a, a perspective, I help you understand a little bit more about the markets, and more importantly, help you understand um, the benefits of artificial intelligence. Before we get into the details, let's talk about AI for a moment. Let's talk about the benefits of artificial intelligence. And some of you may be reading about a lot of different things like uh, chat GPT and uh, you know, uh, deep, um, deep learning neural networks. Artificial intelligence has been a, uh, a buzz lately here in uh, the last uh, six months, year or so, uh, similar to the way it was a few years ago. And there's more organizations and more people starting to bring artificial intelligence into their day-to-day -day market analysis. What we're going to be digging into today, the artificial intelligence here that we're talking about is a patented technology that is using AI to figure out what's influencing the market. As a matter of fact, let me just uh, change my screen here a little bit and give you a, a view into what I'm talking about. There we go. Everybody should be able to see a chart up on the screen now. Uh, I've got a chart of DR Horton and I'm going to walk through it step by step. I want to give everybody a good opportunity just to understand what we're looking at. Uh, what this is doing, how it's using artificial intelligence uh, so that everybody can see, you know, the real, uh, the real benefits, the opportunities that are out there and available for traders uh, with this kind of technology. Uh, let me just take a look at the questions box here. How can I see this on my laptop rather than my phone? Just, uh, Bob, you can go to uh, youtube.com. Uh, There's a link right there. And uh, go to the Vantage Point AI uh, page. If you go to the Vantage Point AI channel, and Bob, if you haven't already subscribed, this would be a good time if you go on your laptop, go to your YouTube, and go to the AI channel and hit subscribe. You'll be able to see and get notification of these lives when they happen. And that's just not for Bob. That's for anybody else that wants to be able to get access to this information um, every time we do it. We, we usually do a live every couple of weeks to see where the markets are and see what the AI is saying. So uh, thank you for asking. Also, you know, just back to what we were talking about related to the AI and, and how there's so many organizations out there, so many traders like you, like me, that want the benefits of artificial intelligence simply because it has the ability to process massive amounts of data. And we're going to look at that today. What kind of data can be processed, how it can be used, and how you can use that information to scan the markets and find some explosive opportunities. I'm going to walk through that step by step by step. 
uh, so we've got a good foundation. I know we've got some people here in the session that uh, are utilizing this technology, this software day in and day out already. We've got some people that probably haven't seen this technology before. Uh, I'm gonna do my best to deliver information at a level that everybody can understand it. However, if you have questions, don't hesitate to chat in. Uh, myself, I'll be watching the chat live. I also, as usual, we have uh, somebody on our team making sure that if I miss any questions, <laughs> uh, they can answer those questions for you right there live. You know, this is an interactive session, so uh, get in where you fit in, I guess, right? Jump in if you've got questions. Happy to answer those questions for you. So if you're looking at my screen right now, not my camera, but my screen with Dr. Horton up on the screen, you know, what I, one of the things that I want to highlight is that this is a, you know, this is a great trending opportunity. There's a couple of great bullish trends that have been um, identified here in the Vantage Point software. And for those of you that don't know, this is Vantage Point. What we're looking at is the Vantage Point software. And if, if I, for a second, just knock off uh, some of the, uh, the indicators that are on the screen, just to, just to kind of give everybody that hasn't seen this technology before a good baseline, Vantage Point, the interpretation and the charts that we're going to look at is technical analysis. It's predictive technical analysis that is dependent on artificial intelligence processes. But what we're looking at here is a candlestick chart. So if we take a step back and we say, all right, I'm looking at a candlestick chart. Each candlestick represents one trading day, right? For those of you that are new to the financial markets, red candlesticks are down days, green candlesticks are up days. Uh, there's you know a lot of things that you can do with candlesticks, but we're just using it as a, a baseline so that we can work off that when we apply the artificial intelligence. One of the things you'll find if you've never seen this, this uh, technology before is that the learning curve for using it can be very short because it's layered on top of a candlestick chart. It's very, very complex analysis layered on top of a candlestick chart so that you've got a good baseline. If you've used or read about or investigated technical analysis before, Vantage Point's designed to make it as easy as possible. So if I put those indicators back on, I'm gonna walk you through what these indicators are and, and how they're using artificial intelligence before we get into the details of using them to understand explosive moves. This DR, Hart, DR Horton uh, explosive move is DHI is a ticker symbol. Um, the latest one was identified here, right here on this day, 4-3. 4.3 is the day that uh, this blue line crossed above. Now that's the latest trend that's currently going on and that's why I'm highlighting that one, but there's another bullish opportunity that was highlighted on 3.9. And that's what's great about this artificial intelligence technology is that when the, the stars align, when things line up based on what the analysis is doing, what the technology is doing behind the scenes, you as the trader get to make the final decision on on where you go and how you use that information. We're not talking about an automated trading robot here. Uh, not at this point, we're talking about providing you information that you can utilize to find opportunities that can be explosive, to find stocks that you might not be thinking about, uh, to protect yourself from a risk management standpoint, which is, which is always key for trading, and to do, to do a lot of other things, whether you're day trading, swing trading, position trading, there is an avenue for you with vantage point in this in this artificial intelligence, even for stock traders. If you look on the left-hand side of the screen, let me, uh, you know what, let me get up a, a quick, uh, something I can write with a quick pen or something that I can use to, uh, to draw on the screen here. Give me just a second. There we go. This way I, I can point on the screen and draw around and you can see uh, where my eyes are and I don't, I don't leave anybody behind. So uh, there we go. So what I was saying is you can see that here on the screen on the left-hand side, left-hand side is what I'm talking about, is that there are several asset classes covered. And we can dive in and look at the different asset classes. Right now, it looks like I've got primarily stocks up here at the top in these tabs that are open. We're gonna walk through those stock forecasts, but there's you know 74 different futures markets. There's 35 different Forex pairs. There's hundreds of ETFs. There's over 1,200 individual stocks just in the U.S. market. And the idea here is if you are a stock trader, you can use the AI to find stocks that are expected to start trending or futures trader. The AI doesn't necessarily care about the asset per se. The AI cares if it can do the analysis, if its programming is, is able to pick up on those hidden patterns and relationships. 
Uh, so those of you that are using Vantage Point and have the artificial intelligence uh, at your disposal day in and day out, you're probably very familiar with what, the, what this, uh, this technology is actually doing. But what I'm highlighting here is some long-term expectations here where on 3.9, the blue line crossed above the black line. Now you want to find an explosive move. This blue line crossing in the black line is an explosive move that is identified from a, a predicted moving average. That is the blue line. And as I said, I'm going to take this down to the basics so that everybody that is seeing this and interacting with this can really, you know, understand what's going on behind the scenes. And then we'll dig into some individual assets and look at some stocks and some futures if you'd like to and, and figure out how you can apply this day in and day out if you're not already. And if you are, I want to help you, you know, minimize those marginal opportunities and help you maximize uh, the, the, real, the real potential. And in this case, you can see 3.9 was that forecast where that blue line crossed above the black line. Before I get into too much detail, let's just talk about what that blue line is doing. Uh, so this way we're all on the same page. And I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna give you the formula. Let me give you the formula. If you're talking about a simple moving average, a 10 day simple moving average, and I'm just gonna draw on the screen. A 10 day simple moving average adds up 10 days. Uh, let's set five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. And it divides by 10 and it plots that on that chart. You could use a 10 day simple. A lot of traders out there are using a 20 day, a 50 day, you're comparing a 20 day and a 50 day. Just understand that that 20 day and 50 day is just looking at 20 days of historical price movements and plotting that on the chart. There's nothing predictive about that information. Where what we've done here at Vantage Point is we've used the AI to find hidden patterns and relationships and then take a 10 day, for instance, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then add, I'm gonna get another color, add three days of predictive information to that formula. And then at that point, do the calculation for let's say a 10 day moving average. But the difference here is that these three days have predictive information generated from the artificial intelligence. So if you wanna find explosive moves that are about to happen, not just moves that, that not just trends that recently happened, adding predictive information that's unknown to anywhere else in the world or any other technology gives you that, that leg up. And having access to that information by pulling up a chart in vantage point gives you a, a way to make much more confident trading decisions. And that's really the name of the game. So that predictive information is added to the formula to create that predicted moving average. All right, and when I say that predicted moving average, I'm talking about the blue line that's streaking across your screen. All right, to give everybody a good foundation of what that is. For those of you that, are, that utilize Vantage Point, we're looking at the long-term predicted moving average, which has three days of predictive information in that formula. The crossover on DR Horton happened on 3.9. And then there was another clear crossover on 4.11. Uh, those are, those, you know, if we're talking about the trend, those are two trends that moved pretty well from crossover to crossover point. We're talking about one trend moving 1.61% to the positive, and we're talking about another one up to the close yesterday moving, what is that, 9.8? That's over 10% over hypothetical gains here on DR Horton on one, on one stock. You know, and just one stock on these two forecasts to the bullish side. I want to just kind of lay out that foundation so we're on the same page. Oh, you know what? Let me do something else because that's that's the indicator, and yeah, you know, it's interpreting the indicator. But let's take a second and dig into the details. This is a, a home builder, right? This is a home builder, and I'll show you how and why I'm looking at home builders and talking about home builders right now. We'll, we'll get into that in just a second, but. If I go just into the inner markets here, if I go into the, the these are the, what we call intermarkets for DR Horton. Now, if you don't have vantage point, that may be a new term. So, you know, let me just explain what I mean. What the artificial intelligence is doing is it's taking that target market, DR Horton in this case. And because artificial intelligence is dependent on big data, when I say big data, I mean millions and millions of data points. It requires massive amounts of data to draw any conclusions, to make any predictions, no matter what it is. It doesn't matter what kind of technology or AI you're using. It's dependent on the data. Well, the data that the artificial intelligence is using in this case is uh, the, the open, the high, the low, the close, all that market data, that price action data, not just for DR Horton, 
but it's also looking at DR Horton as well as other home builders like KB Homes. Now, intuitively, that makes sense that the AI is saying, hey, when KB Home moves, it's going to have an impact in some way, shape, or form on DR Horton, right? It's a competitor, it's in the same sector. It's a, a company that you're probably familiar with when you think about DR Hort Oh, well, look, here's Pulte. Here's another one. Maybe it's not KB Homes. Maybe it's Pulte that you're familiar with. Regardless, these are, you know, stocks you would expect have some sort of influence on where DR Horton's price goes. And that's really the key to this is that, you know, the AI isn't just looking at DR Horton and trying to say, all right, let me, let me figure out where DR Horton is going based on DR Horton. We're trading in a global economy. Whether you're new to Vantage Point or you've got Vantage Point, you know that we're trading in a global economy, which means there are other influencing factors, not only domestically, but internationally, that could have a dramatic impact on what's going on with a stock or a futures market or a Forex pair that you're trying to, to gather some gains from, if you will. Well, if we know that there's other influencing factors out there, what we're doing with the artificial intelligence is a patented process called intermarket analysis. And, you know, I've been utilizing this technology for over a decade. Uh, and the people that I talk to and train and work with, just like me, are always fascinated and blown away at the power of the, the patented AI that we're using here. by Because it's, it's looking at DR Horton, all of those price indicators, as well as Pulte Homes, as well as other markets like TransAlta. Lennar Homes, CarParts.com, Next Era Energy. There's several, there's several other markets here. Some make a whole lot of sense like a Lennar, but others that you just wouldn't be able to understand without having the benefit of the AI. And that's really the key, is that the hidden patterns and relationships, whether they're linear or non-linear, meaning whether they are, they are directly impacting DR Horton, or maybe they're impacting one of the other markets that has a major influence on DR Horton, Knowing what those markets are and using them, finding them, using them to your advantage, in my opinion, and probably in a lot of people that are using this, it's humanly impossible. Something like KB Homes or Lennar makes, yeah, maybe I could go do that and lay one chart over the next and see if they're moving together. But something like carparts.com, I probably wouldn't even look at unless I had the benefit of the AI doing that process, that intermarket analysis. You see, it's scanning over 10,000 markets around the world to figure out which markets, including the Japanese yen, right? That's a, a, a world currency like the Euro, light, sweet crude oil. These are nucleus markets that can impact what you're trading day in and day out. The benefit of the AI is it can figure out which ones are having the biggest impact. There's about 30 on the list here. Here's the S&P 500 Home Builders ETF. We know that ETFs like that are made up of a basket of stocks or an industry like Home Builders. And, you know, if that entire ETF is going up and there's a stock in the ETF that's not going up, it makes sense that it could have the tendency to pull that stock up. Well, the AI is figuring out which markets are influencing DR Horton. It's also figuring out whether they're going to have some sort of directional bias. For instance, Google, <laughs> Google as a stock might push the price of DR Horton down, have an inverse relationship to DR Horton, where something like a Pulte could have a, you know, a parallel relationship. Regardless, the AI is figuring it out. The, 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 the deep machine learning is doing the analysis on the price and it's figuring out what is influencing DR Horton in this case and what direction it could drive it or impact it from a, from a price movement standpoint. Uh, Bagger, I see your question. So if, if majority of these companies are up, we could say DR Horton would follow. Great question, Bagger. I appreciate that. And that's what I was just talking about. Some of these markets are going to, to push DR Horton up. Some of them are going to cause it to vacillate and move sideways. And some of them are going to have an inverse impact on DR Horton. For me to figure out which ones are which, we could probably all get in a room together and try to figure that out and struggle. For the AI to figure it out, very quick, because it can process millions and millions of data points, especially in the cloud, like uh, Vantage Point is doing it, and figure out those relationships, figure out the directional bias, and get this, bagger for you and for everybody else that hasn't experienced this before, the AI even has the capability to figure out the degree of impact. I'm gonna put a little uh, percentage. 
how much each one of these individual markets is impacting DR Horton. Something like S&P Home Builders, you would imagine will have a stronger impact or the Dow, right? Or the S&P 500 could have a stronger impact on DR Horton versus Ballard Power Systems. And I don't know that to be true. You know, I'm just showing you what the AI is doing and kind of popping the hood on the car. You know, in some cases, you know, there are more essential pieces of a, a car's engine. In this case, there are some uh, markets, inner markets that are more essential than others. But you're looking at the top 30 inner markets here or 31 or so inner markets here. And that's really the key is that the AI is doing all this for you. I don't have to look at this. I don't have to utilize this to go figure out, you know, which which stocks are expected to move or which futures are expected to to pop. The AI is doing this for me. Hopefully that answers your questions, Bagger. And if anybody has any questions on that topic, don't hesitate to jump in. You know, like I say, this is this can be as interactive as you want it to be. And I'm happy to take all the time we need to to walk through the details because this is the real foundation for finding and scanning the markets for explosive moves. And that is utilizing a technology that can do what I can't, that can do, you know, things very quickly and, and, and process massive amounts of data. At the end of the day, that patented technology is bringing you as a trader information that you can use to be more confident, find better opportunities. Nothing is perfect, but just imagine if you could utilize technology like this day in and day out to strengthen your decisions. And if you're using this technology already, you probably have that comfort level that I have where it's like, okay, I'm using a technology that I know I can't get anywhere else in the world, but more so that is doing global market analysis. And, and you know, I thought it was important that we just walk through those details because this is the foundation for finding those big moves, right? I hear, and you're probably like me, I hear about stocks that could be you know, big explosive moves in the grocery store, friends, families, you read about it online everywhere. There's a lot of sources out there, but what Vantage Point is bringing me as a source is a level of analysis that I can't get from those other sources. And regardless of what source I use online or where I get my information from, layering on top of that an artificial intelligence process that is doing global market analysis and has the ability to forecast the trends with a high degree of accuracy, is like another arrow in my quiver, another tool in my toolbox that is right for the job. And that's how I look at it, so good. Hey, Erwin, well, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here because using that kind of technology, as you know, it sounds like you've already got it. I, I, you know, I don't have a Vantage Point user list in front of me, but if you've got that technology, you're probably seeing how, how much more confident you can be just knowing that that's what it's doing. So I'm glad you're here. The, uh, the, the first piece of doing that analysis is what I was talking about earlier, is that crossover. So we found a crossover here. As I said, we found a crossover here. It was very clear where the blue line is above. And, and we've, we've taken some steps here to shade the area between those lines so you can see when you actually have a crossover, when you have some bullishness, you know, a large percentage of trading is emotions, right? Taking the emotions out of trading or reducing how emotional those decisions can be is powerful. And that, that color coding really helps me to understand that, okay, I don't really have to think much about it. That shaded area between that blue and black line or blue and gray line in this case is, uh, you know, is, is something that uh, can give me confidence that there's bullishness expected. That's saying that prices, by the way, that blue line crossing above right here that I'm circling that crossover are saying prices are expected to be higher up to three days in the future. One, two, three days. So using that information from that from the close of that day, I'm just gonna go from the close of when we saw that, uh, that crossover to the close three days later, that's the change in price that was being predicted with that crossover. That's the bullish trend that was expected to happen based on that blue line crossing above. So Erwin, for you and for anybody else that's using Vantage Point, that long-term crossover is designed to help you understand price movements three days into the future. Not exact prices, right? That's, that, that, would be a, that, would, that would be something that would be valuable. Three days out to get the exact price, there's really nothing in the world that can provide you that. Getting the trend direction and whether prices are expected to be higher, you're looking at it with an incredible, incredible level of accuracy. That's 2.74% from close to close, you know, three days, three days later. All right, so hopefully that helps a little bit. 
That's just one indicator though. If I wanna find an explosive move, I've gotta utilize, you know, in my opinion, an indicator that is looking at things from a different perspective. For instance, this blue line is about the trend. I'm just gonna write trend up here so that those of you that are using this can, can have a good uh, reminder that this is talking about trend direction. Not very good at writing with the mouse, so. Uh, but I think you can see that it says trend, right? <laughs> We're talking about trend direction expected to be higher there. Taking it to the next level, I'm looking at the neural index. This is a very powerful indicator, the most accurate indicator that the artificial intelligence produces here. And it's telling me about the strength of price. This green neural index, the fact that it's green on this day, is telling me that, and I'm just gonna write strength. Let's see, <laughs> let's see if, I can, if I can write the whole word where you can read it with a mouse. There we go. As you can tell, this is live, right? This isn't a pre-recorded session, but that neural index is telling me strength is expected to be higher. So let's think about that. On the same day that the trend is indicating bullishness from the artificial intelligence, the AI is saying trend is expected to be bullish, the neural index is saying strength is expected to be bullish. I've got two indicators that are working off of that intermarket analysis. That's probably a good point. I should make that point is that the AI and drawing these indicators is, is dependent on the artificial intelligence figuring out what is influencing DHI, this stock, how much it's influencing and the directional bias. And then it's using that information to do the calculation of these predictive indicators. When these predictive indicators that predict the trend and strength agree, that's powerful. I, if, if you've trained with me at all in the last uh, 10 years, I like to use the analogy of doctors. This is like your primary care physician indicating that something needs a change. This is like a, a specialist saying something needs a change, maybe surgery is required. Well, then in the doctor's case, I may go down and interview some surgeons, <laughs> right? I mean. I may, you know, a lot of people want to get that extra confirmation. So what I'm looking at down here are momentum predictions. These, these are momentum predictions. And when they're pointed up like this going into that day, that tells me I've got bullish momentum forecasted. This is a one day momentum on the light blue line, a two day momentum on the fuchsia hot pink line and three day momentum prediction on the, the, the navy blue line. So what I get is trend prediction, strength prediction, and momentum predictions one, two, and three days in the future. This is the baseline. Thank you, Asia. Glad you found you came. I think it's Asia. I said it came across the video and you're in. I'm glad you're here. If you've got questions and for you and for anybody as we go through this, jump in. I got my eye on the chat box so we can uh, make sure that I get those, those questions answered on the fly if need be. So what we're seeing here on 3.9 is that same situation. The other date that I highlighted was 4.3, same situation where all of those indicators that we're talking about, and we're talking about five specific indicators, key forecasted indicators are saying bullishness expected. Okay, well, when I see that information, I can use that information to make some decisions about the trend, and that's where you can highlight and find these big pops, if you will. That's a, you know, I, I went from, from the open of one day to the close of the, of the yesterday, indicating bullishness. Now let's zoom in for a second. I wanna show you something. Look over here on the right. In this case, the blue line is still above the black line. I wanna show you how to analyze this data as of 6.30 p.m. Eastern time last night. The first thing that I can see is a shaded area between that blue and that gray line is still green. That's the AI saying trend is still expected to move higher, right? I don't, I don't really have to go to any other indicators at that point. Of course I can to get that extra confidence, but this is my primary care physician saying all good, nothing has to change, right? I, because the, the condition, the situation is the same, still moving higher, right? Using that physician analogy maybe it's a bad analogy but i think you understand what i'm saying is i don't i don't have to go talk to a specialist if i don't want to i can but i don't have to i don't have to interview surgeons if i don't want to but i can if i'm trying to manage this position what i'm looking to do is determine at what point do i need to protect my downside at what point do i need to, to use the artificial intelligence to forecast a reversal 
Well, that would be when the blue line crosses below. We'll talk about that here in a second. But I also have this little box out here. And I love using this. This is the predicted high and predicted low. This information, this predicted high and predicted low is available for all of those assets I was talking about a second ago. But what it's doing is it's using that intermarket analysis and it's figuring out what a potential high and what a potential low can be. It's even telling me, if you notice, there's a little, little green shading on the edge of that box and a little green shading on this edge. It's not telling me up day, down day. It's not telling me that, but it is telling me that the predicted high is higher than the previous day's high because it's shaded green. It's also telling me that the predicted low is higher than the previous day's low, which is why it's shaded green. So this is telling me that I'm, I can expect prices to be a bit higher than they were yesterday. Not Remember, up day, down day is about open close. This is about the range. The range is expected to be higher in this case. And it's telling me that because you know the, it's done that intermarket analysis that we looked at, it's done that global analysis, and it's telling me based on what that is saying, this is the predicted high and the predicted low for the next trade day. Here's how I'm using that to find and protect myself in those explosive moves like the 10% hypothetical gain we were just talking about. If I know there's a predicted low down here, and I can put my cursor on it, I can find out what vantage point is predicting specifically for the low, and it says right here in the top left corner, 10902. 10902 is what the vantage point uh, artificial intelligence is saying I can expect for a, uh, excuse me, that's the high, sorry about that. Predicted low is 10765. 10765 is the predicted low. I can put my cursor right there on it and say, you know what, if it goes lower than that, if for something, for some reason, something out of pocket happens, something unexpected, and it drops lower than that, I can protect my downside and lock in these gains. How low? That's up to you. Only you know your trade plan. Remember, money management is, is a personal thing. Uh, risk tolerances are a trade plan thing. Bounce this information past your trade plan and decide, you know what? This is a long bullish opportunity. I can, I can use that predicted low as a gauge, set my stop loss below you know, the low of the last 72 hours and know I am outside of that predicted low. And if something changes and prices drop below 107, that's a stop out, that's an exit, a loss mitigation, that's a, you know, a covered call scenario. You can use this for a lot of different trading strategies. That's gonna be dependent on what your exit strategy uh, trade plan says, right? I'm not gonna tell you, and the software isn't telling you what to do, it's telling you what the market is expected to do. You take that and you apply it to a trade plan, whether it's a day trade, an options trade, you wanna trade the underlying asset, you make that decision. And in this case, what, what the artificial intelligence is saying here is that, yeah, this trend is still expected to be higher. There's still strength in the trend. The predicted high and predicted low is higher than the previous day. We are getting a little bit of momentum shifting happen. The, the, uh, the medium term and the long term are somewhat bearish, but the short term is still bullish. So that tells me that I can you know, protect my money, protect my gains, use that, I don't know, maybe 107. You decide where you want it. I'm using 107 because it is below the predicted low and it is the low of the last 72 hours to say, you know what, anything past that, lock in my hypothetical 10% gain here and go find another opportunity. That's how this artificial intelligence can help you find explosive move, manage those positions, and of course, mitigate or reduce risk. This is about maximizing the upside potential, minimizing the downside risk according to your trade plan with AI predictive information. By the way, just in case you're wondering, if you're using these indicators the way I've laid them out, you can get accuracy with up to 87.4% about that trend direction, right? Just in case, if you're not utilizing this technology, or even if you are, if you're a Vantage Point user, you've, you've done a good thing by taking that accuracy and, and throwing it in your toolbox, and you can see how that can help you. All right, so that's one example. Here's Pulte Homes. Here's another great example. In this example, you can see that you got a fresh crossover uh, right here on this day. This is 314. The blue line was below, went above on 314. The neural index was green. The predictive differences pointed up going into that day. Now, a lot of people might say, well, what about this crossover? Well, look, the neural index didn't agree, right? 
so I, I, I don't have to take advantage of something like that. If I don't have a situation where my primary care physician and my specialist don't agree, well, then I can make a decision. I can go to look at the momentum indicators and see I got one pointing down, two pointing up. You know what? No go in my book. I'm trusting the AI here. And if my trade plan tells me I need to have a trend predictor, a strength predictor, momentum predictors in indicating bullishness, I've got that on 314. That's where they all agree. By the way, if you're looking at that and going, ah, I, I get it now or I see where that would be beneficial, that's how a lot of traders are applying this to help you, you know, uh, mitigate, mitigate risk or remove marginal opportunities. Removing marginal opportunities is a big, big, you know, game changer. If you don't win any more than you do today, but you can reduce the times where something goes against you or you have drawdown, at the end of the year, the end of the week, the end of the month, whatever time frame you're analyzing, that could put you way ahead. So what I'm saying is if you don't win any more, you just lose less, just think about the power that can bring for your trading. Thank you, Bagger. Bagger said, uh, DHI is at 109.37. I didn't see that come through, but 109.37. So according to, so it's right here. So it's above where this predicted. Again, that trend predictor, that strength predictor, very powerful, and there's even more gains there. So you, so that's a, that's a scenario where you're not stopped out. You're protected. I'm just gonna drop a line right here so you can see what I was saying around that 107 mark. Not stopped out at 107, and this thing is moving higher just as the trend predictor indicated it would. Thanks, thanks for uh, popping that in there. Not at 109.80, so still going up. All right, good. Back onto Pulte Homes where I was. This is an explosive move that was forecasted on 314. 314. All right, well, let's look. From that, that forecasted date to the close yesterday, here is a 22% hypothetical gain on this stock. You know, if you're an options trader, that's a great options trade. If you just like to buy the underlying, that's a great trade no matter what. If you're an options trader, let me just walk you through really quickly how this ends up being a very explosive move with the leverage. On this day, on the close of this day, the close was 55.02 at 6.30 at night on 314, you get a download of this data, you see the blue line crossed above, the neural index was green, the predictive difference is pointed higher. See, the great thing about this AI, it's doing the analysis for you very quickly, so you don't have to sit in front of your computer all day. You don't have to have your cell phone distracting you throughout the day trying to figure out what's expected to happen or what just happened. Vantage Point is forecasting at 6.30 p.m. Eastern time at night. So, you know, for those of you that use it, you know, whether it's a 20 minutes, a half hour, hour, whatever kind of time you want to put towards your trading after the market close, after 630, maybe it's after dinner, maybe it's first thing in the morning because you're an early riser. We leave that up to you, but you're getting the forecasts for the next one to three days before that next trade day. It's all end of day data. So you see that information, that close is at, you know, 5502. As an options trader, a bullish forecast like that could cause you to sell some puts if you're holding this position or buy some calls. We'll, we'll just use a regular options call scenario here. Buy five calls at that point. Very, very, by the way, a very good strategy from options trading standpoint. Use that date, 314. You can set your options expiration, and I'm not telling you what to do, this is just educational, but you can set your ex options expiration out 60 days, let's say. 45, 60 days, and the reason I'm saying that is because what I've found in my experience is that's gonna give you enough time for that option to mature. And if for some reason the AI changes course before expiration, you don't have to go all the way to expiration, right? You can get out of that position, you can sell that position, sell it to close it, right? And take whatever gains you have at that moment. Well, if we go out 60 days, that would be what? April, May, so let's call it, uh, If I let me look at my calendar here. See if I can get to a calendar really quickly. If we go out to, to the May, third Friday of the month when options expire, that would be a couple of weeks away from now. Five calls at 55 bucks with an expiration, you know, at the, the in May, a monthly expiration in May. This trend is, to, is still going. Five calls is controlling what about 5,000 shares, depending on your premium. You can see oh, 500 shares, that's five calls. I might've said 5,000, sorry about that. That's a $6,570 move, right? Since that forecast. 
take away some of your premium, you're probably in that case up, you know, 100%, 120% on the option. Now we're not at expiration yet, but here's a great thing as an options trader, you know, that as long as, as closer you get to expiration, the more, the more time decay is hurting that option, unless that trend is moving like this. You've got a nice steady move in this trend and the, the bullishness of that trend is moving faster than time decay is actually hurting that option. And that's a really, really great move. A little bit of sideways action right here for a few days. Uh, you know, time decay probably took a little bit of that value, but took it right back here a few days later. No matter how you slice it, options trading, using this artificial intelligence, really, you know, it, it puts you in the catbird seat, right? It puts you in a position of profit. And if for some reason something changes or maybe you've hit your price target already, that's up to you. You could take advantage of, a, of an exit at, at whatever point you feel like it's necessary, right? Right, that's what we're talking about here, Bagger, exactly. All right, so what we're talking about now is position management, right? So let's zoom in a little bit. Let's do some position management on the vantage point indicators. What do we see here? Well, what we see is that the, the predicted high and predicted low are still expected to be higher. The neural index is green. We see the short-term momentum bullish and the medium sideways and long-term bearish. So I'm getting a little faltering from a momentum standpoint. Maybe that's enough to exit that and lock in gains. Maybe you're already at your target on an options trade or maybe the underlying has moved enough for you. You decide, heck, you know what? Let me let me back up a second. You don't even have to hold it that long. If you have a target on your trading that says, you know what? At 10%, uh, I lock in my gains. That could be anywhere in this trend. Look, you can see that there are several key points where you can make the decision. I'm taking that trend off. You get a little drawdown here. That's up to you. You're the trader. You make the decision. This isn't deciding for you. But you can see here how how powerful it is at forecasting the trend. Now, I said earlier, why am I looking at some of these home builders? Well, we talked about scanning. I think the, the title for this was Scan and Find Explosive Moves. There's some real good strength within the home builders. And I want to show you a scan that I use to find some of the sectors that are moving based on, you know, uh, the artificial intelligence. Here's a scan called the sector scan. Now, I built this scan within the software, and you can build and customize any scan that you want, you know, depending on what you're looking for. And what I have in this scan, this is a very customizable tool. All I've done is put 17 assets in here. And these are things, these are ETFs that follow different sectors, like the healthcare sector, utilities, technology. There's what energy, finance. You can see all the different sectors laid out here, oil, uh, gold, I use this sector to zero in on where these opportunities can be and where I can find sectors that are moving. Because if we know that, you know, there's there's influencing factors, and I think it's safe to say there's probably nobody disagrees here. I ask this question all the time and I haven't had anybody disagree in a long, long time. It's safe to say that there's influencing factors out there that are driving the share price of what you're trying to trade. And that's where this AI comes in handy. Well, what this scan is doing is giving you a sector view. If you've got the ETF sectors, and you can see if I open up the ETF sectors on the left-hand side, there are nine different sectors in here. There's over 150 or so, somewhere in that range, ETFs throughout these nine sectors. The United States ETF sector has a bunch of US-based ETFs. So all I've done here is pull the ETFs that follow those sectors or those indices that, that you know, uh, that can give me a hint on which sectors are moving. If I want to go look for some bullish sectors, I can simply go here and just move, you know, my, my, my uh, filters to say, just show me the things that have the trend forecast as bullish, all right? Just show me where the trend forecast is bullish. And if I, if I move the trend forecast to say up, I've whittled down the sectors to four. Here's XHB, the Home Builders ETF on the S&P 500. You'll notice by looking at this list, what the AI is saying is that this Home Builders ETF is expected to have a bullish trend still from 6.30 p.m. Eastern time last night. The long-term momentum indicator, and by the way, if, you're, if you've used and you're using the Vantage Point software, this is the long-term crossover, the medium-term crossover, the short-term crossover, giving me the trend prediction over the next three, two, or one days, or one, two, and three days. This is the neural index. 
This is literally scanning to identify where the neural index is bullish or bearish, green or red. And you can see up is green and down is red. I've got some indicators in here on momentum and the home builders one is the strongest line item here. It has the most green to simplify it, right? It's losing a little bit of volume, right? Bearish volume, but it's got the most green. So now that answers the question of why was I looking at DHI? Why was I looking at PHM, Pulte Homes and DR Horton to see if that trend was expected to continue? Well, if I was able to capitalize on this beginning of this trend, and now I'm managing this position with the most recent forecast, knowing that the sector is moving higher, the stock within that sector is moving higher, and knowing that the AI is doing analysis behind the scenes for not only get this, not only Pulte Homes, but it's also doing AI behind the scenes on the Home Builders ETF to find those hidden patterns and relationships. And to know that the AI is in agreement there, that gives me incredible, incredible confidence around where this trend is expected to go. Here's another one that's got a lot of green here. Not everything's green, but biotech ETF, right? XBI. Well, here's Biogen. Here's BIIB. Check this out. If this is a bullish opportunity that I can see this trend moving up higher here, and I don't have a whole lot of green between those, so I can see right here on 323, I've got a clear crossover. I see the blue line is above. Whether I'm, I'm using this as an aggressive crossover or this is a more conservative crossover, doesn't matter. I need to make sure I have confirmation from those indicators. Trend is expected to be higher. Strength is higher and momentum is building, I can use that information now to say, okay, there's a great trend opportunity here on BII, be an explosive one if you ask me, and the AI found it, right? And yes, by the way, I, I use the scan, for those of you that don't use this technology today and you're planning on using it in the future, I use the scan in this case to find sectors that are moving. But I can, and I'll show you here in a moment how you can find stocks that are expected to move as well. And remember, I've got the biotech, I got real estate, I got home builders, and I got the technology sectors here. I got four sectors uh, with home builders and technology being the strongest sectors that I can scan later. I'll show you that here in just a second. We'll do that live. But when I look at this, this is the, the trend on BIIB, 18% gain. And that's a explosive, no matter how you slice it, whether you're an options trader, you like to buy the underlying, Look at that hypothetical gain on 500 shares. I can kick that down to 100 shares. We can slice it and dice it however you want, but you can see no matter what, 18% is 18%. So let's talk about what's going on now on the right-hand side of the chart, right? Let's go over here. We've got the blue line above, so I don't really need to confer with my other indicators if I don't want to, but I certainly can, and I'm seeing a little bit of weakening. I look at my predicted high and it's saying, yeah, there's a little bit of weakening going on. I can use that information to make a decision on mitigating my risk, protecting my downside. Everybody can see that. That's gonna be according to your trade plan. What Vantage Point is saying here is that the predicted low for this stock could go as, as far down as uh, 310.98, all right, 310.98. And it could go as high as 316.42. I know we got a lot of people in this session, so if somebody has access to that information really quickly, want to pop in the low and the high for BIIB today, we can cross-check it, uh, and somebody can just put it in the chat box. I'll keep my eye on it. But what this is saying is, although this trend is expected to be higher and things could be higher, I could expect a lower range day, overall lower typical price today, from BIIB. Doesn't mean it's gonna be a down day or up day. It's saying overall, the predicted high is expected to be lower than the previous day, but the predicted low is expected to be higher. That's an inside day, so we're getting a bit of consolidation from BIIB. Thank you. Bagger says 319.74 for the high. I'll mark that here. And we're just doing this live so everybody can see it here. 319.74. go. I got the, the high marked of the day, so we can see where that compares. So that's certainly more bullish, right? Um, low. Bagger, pop that in there when you get a chance. You're, uh, you're, I probably moved a little bit faster than you did, but if you get it in there, let me know. And we can see how it compared from protecting that downside. Because when you stop and you think about it, this is a great bullish trend. 
what I need to be looking to do is if something pops below that predicted low and gets to the low of the last 72 hours or whatever you use for your stop loss or your exit, that's up to you. Well, then you know there's a, 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 an opportunity to lock in those gains and move on to something else. You know, that's a great example of something you can do. For instance, maybe some of you that have tighter stop losses would have been stopped out here. And that's okay. Those things are going to happen. Look at this trend, though, from crossover until, I'll just go to worst case scenario, the close of this day. Still 6.5%. And that's because the AI was able to identify that trend early on, early on. And that's that's one of the great things about uh, this technology. It can help you from an entry standpoint. I think you're seeing that. It can help you from a position management standpoint, an exit standpoint. There's a lot of benefits to your trade plan uh, related to what this AI is doing. I'm going to get a drink of water really quickly here. All right. Thank you. As you can tell, this is live. I do a lot of talking, so... All right, great. Uh, 315, 315. So we'll put it right dead center right there. Thank you. I appreciate that. So that's where uh, Biogen is uh, currently with a low of 311. Vantage Point predicted a low of 31098. So we're talking about a 10 cent difference between, and thank you, by the way, I, sorry for making you do, uh, do work, but I appreciate the, as you can tell, I like a very interactive, uh, uh, live event here. So if you're listening, don't hesitate, jump in uh, wherever it is you, you, you want to jump in and, and, and talk with me in the chat box. I'll keep my eye on it. But to know that Vantage Point predicted a low of uh, 310.98 at 6.30 p.m. Eastern time last night for BIIB. And what I'm being told in the chat box is it's currently at 311.09. That's an 11 cent difference. Could you imagine how powerful it would be to have a, a predicted low with an 11 cents of a $300 stock? That's finding an explosive move and protecting the downside in that situation very, very powerfully. All right. All right. So I think you get the point there. Let's let's talk about scanning. The other piece of what I wanted to cover today is scanning. We we now know how to that you can and use this information to scan for sectors that are expected to move which is always good and powerful to do a top-down approach, right? Understand if there's bullishness in the markets, understand if there's bullishness in the sectors or bearishness, and then understand, find opportunities that match that bullishness, match that expectation of your sectors and your stocks. And that's what I'm gonna show you right now using IntelliScan. I'm gonna to go to IntelliScan and I'm just gonna open up a bullish scan. You see right here at the top of my list, uh, and it's going to identify for me, it's going to use this information to help me, you know, figure out what is moving north, what is moving higher. And I can even sort based on the sectors we were talking about. Look, right over here on the, on the left-hand side. I can, I've got 1,647 stocks. In this case, I'm just scanning uh, uh, stocks here. And it's filtered out, this scanner, and I'll show you how I set this scanner, is filtered out 1,592 opportunities that the AI is saying, those aren't expected to be as bullish as you want them to be. And it's telling me, and in case you're wondering where I'm looking, by the way, it's right here. And it's telling me there are 55 opportunities that are meeting your expectations, my expectations. I've customized this scan, right? And how I've customized this scan is to identify for, and by the way, if you're looking at this and you're seeing this could be a game changer and I, you know, I, I, I know there's questions. Sometimes people have questions they don't put in the chat box, but if you wanna talk with somebody one-on-one, -on -one, you can go to vantagepointforecast.com. It's www.vantagepointforecast.com and, and you can talk one-on-one -on -one with somebody in case there's a question you have or maybe you're a user of this and you wanna dig into scanning and you want some help from our trainers, we can do that. Maybe you're new to this. Either way, that's information you can get access to there. But what I'm doing here is I've I've found where the crossover, the one, two, and three-day crossovers are bullish. See, I've got that formatted to say up. My neural index up. And you can see I have, if without without boring you and going through all the details, I have my vantage point predictive indicators. The, the, the base indicators. And I can layer on so many more indicators in here that are predicted with the AI. There's predicted momentum indicators. 
right? Predicted seasonal indicators. There's a, a host of indicators that as a trader, if you utilize them and you apply them to your trading today, the AI has the ability to forecast them. I can, I can update my scan with that. But right now what I'm using are the vantage point proprietary indicators that are the basis for everything that this software is doing. 55 stocks are meeting that criteria. I can see right here in the category or sector, it's telling me which sector each one of those stocks is in. Now, you may recall from the sector scan, we had uh, technology stocks, we had biotech stocks. So I'm just gonna sort this from a technology standpoint. And you can see that there's maybe five or 10 technology stocks that have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. 11 technology stocks that have met uh, my, my uh, expectations of bullishness across the board. Here's a nice low priced one. What's this? Blackberry, $4.98. Everybody watching can probably get access to something like Blackberry, whether it's, you know, you and you can decide. Maybe you want a different share price. Maybe you want different volume expectations. We can help you customize it. But I, I picked Blackberry because it's about five bucks a share, right? So when I look at this, what this is telling me is that there was a fresh crossover on Blackberry here, 5.4. The neural index was green. The predictive differences were pointed up going into that day. And since then, we've got bullishness in that trend. And at a 6.30 last night, if I just zoom in on this forecast, by the way, that's a, look at this one. Jeez. Look at this. Let's talk about an explosive move. What is that? Eight, nine days? Yeah. A couple weeks of trading. That's 22% right there. You know, $5 a share. Let's say we do 2,000 shares, you know. Right, about a 10,000, look at that, that's a substantial gain, 22% gain hypothetically in just that, that one little trend alone, right? You can see that. But we're talking about the current one. We're talking about what the scanner found, right? Scanner found this and said, BlackBerry has the potential to move higher today. The blue line is above, the neural index is green and the predictive differences. So we've got everything that I programmed into the scanner saying bullish, right? Let me draw just a big arrow, right? A couple big arrows. Just to reiterate what I was talking about at the beginning, the trend forecast is expected to be higher. That's the blue line, that's the predicted moving average. The neural index, this is strength, expecting more strength. And this is momentum times three, right? All of them are saying bullishness, they all agree in this scenario. I have a predicted high that's higher and I have a predicted low that's higher. So I have the vantage point predictive indicators lined up as I would want them as, and as I would want to use them for a great bullish opportunity. I can use that information then to enter a position if I wanted to on BlackBerry if this stock and everything about this setup meets my trade plan. Don't forget, vantage point is not telling you that this is something that you should be holding or buying right this second. It's telling you that BlackBerry has the potential to go higher it's a highly accurate forecast at the 87.4%. You take that, you apply that to your trade plan. And if your trade plan says this is a buy, well then certainly you can use that information to make the decision. And you would have had that information at 6.30 p.m. Eastern time last night. So think about that. If you have that information at 6.30 p.m. Eastern time last night, go look at just the open to the close on BlackBerry, right? Let's look. Now Bagger says the big move happened overnight trading. Did it? Let's see, where did BlackBerry open? Oh, you know what I can do? Um, yeah, let me just Google BlackBerry stock. I do this, when we do this just so that we get an objective view, right? I'm just gonna go look at what BlackBerry is doing. And you could use whatever program you want. I'm just doing a Google because it's objective and it's right there. Everybody can go see exactly what I'm seeing. All right, so there we go. We got to move on BlackBerry, the open 491, the high 507. It's green, it's up almost a percentage point today. Now this is off of a scan that I would have done at 6.30 last night. But if you had this technology, and I hope you're, you're using scans like this, if you had this technology, the first day you would have seen that opportunity and that scan is probably here on 5.4. Because that's when everything agreed at that point as well, or here. Or here, no matter what, you had really great early opportunity to take advantage of a trend, and it's even up today a percentage point. What did that say again? 
uh, currently 502. So vantage point predicted a high at 501 and sitting at 502 as we speak right now at 1231 p.m. Eastern time on Tuesday. So if you're, if you're looking for an opportunity, if you're looking for something to, to present you with those opportunities, you can see how this trend was identified early. The scanner would have presented it and there's some really great opportunity. And you could, and look, I just, I just picked BlackBerry because it was a, a lower price stock. You can see there's 55 different opportunities that I can then put a, 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 an inspection, a visual inspection. Heck, I could even go in here and say, you know what? I want my clothes price to be less than a hundred bucks. It says a dollar, but let me let me just fix that. There we go. A hundred bucks. Now we're down to forty. Or maybe you want that close price to be greater than fifty bucks. You know, your trade plan is your trade plan, and I'm not I'm not here to tell anybody to trade a certain way. I'm here to help you understand how this AI can take things to the next level. And there you go. Anything over fifty bucks, we're down to twenty nine. I can I can even go as far as add volume to that and say, you know what? Only show me things that are trading with enough volume and enough liquidity that I can get in and out of those positions without any concerns, right? Here, let's go a second further. Volume, let's go greater than, um, I'll, I can do half a million, I can use a million, two million. That's up to you. Um, most traders that uh, I talk to and are looking at either from an option standpoint or having good liquidity are, are traditionally looking around a million. Again, this is customizable, and if you've, if you've got the Vantage Point software and, and you need some help customizing this scan or using a scan like this, let us know, you know, like I say. And if you're not a Vantage Point user and, and you can see how this scan can help you find explosive stocks, let us know that too. There's a link right there you can click on in the chat. Questions from Icon, uh, what happens after the prediction and there's an announcement from the Fed? Let me ask you a question on that. Announcements from the Fed. Um, when do those happen? Are they scheduled? How long do they impact? You know, there's some questions that you've got to ask yourself. How often is there an announcement from the Fed? When was the most recent announcement from the Fed? What did the AI say around that announcement? Because I think you'll see that in this one month window, there was probably a Fed announcement, right? Yet the AI was still very accurate and more importantly, helped traders be profitable. Here's a, here's a bearish trend right? Crossover to crossover. You can see that. Even if I go, I don't, you know, I can go worst case scenario on this and, and you can see that no matter what, there's gains from a bearish standpoint, that's over 2% gains, even worst case scenario, not using stop losses, right? <laughs> I like it. That bagger. <laughs> Thanks for the answer. He says, he says, uh, don't trade the news, right? News is going to happen. News doesn't drive the share price every single day. Earnings don't drive the share price every single day. What we're seeing from a market standpoint, and, and thank you for your question, is the inner markets, those influencing factors that are global, that are domestic, that are international, have an impact on where the share price moves and how much it moves more often than a Fed announcement once a month or every couple of weeks or earnings that happens once a quarter. Right, those things are going to happen. You've got to protect yourself in those scenarios. But what about all of the other trading time that is available when those things aren't happening? Where do you get your advantage? Where do you get your edge? And I, I get mine from vantage point, as you can see here. And uh, let's be serious. <laughs> trading for you to make money, somebody else has to lose. That means you've got to have an edge. You've got to you've got to got to have a way to stack the odds in your favor and a patented artificial intelligence program that can do this, in my opinion, this is my opinion, right? Is the best thing out there. And you can see where, you know, uh, today's walkthrough and, and how you can scan and use information like this proved to be very, very, uh, very successful. Are there, by the way, by the way, let's, we can, I can open up the floor. I know I've, uh, I've, I've gone over an hour. You know, I, I enjoy talking with you and helping traders. But if you've got a specific asset or something you want to take a look at, then let me know that as well. Uh, can I touch on timing? Yeah. There are indicators that can help you from a timing standpoint. That crossover and that neural index in agreement, that is a timing indicator that can really, really help you. 
at 6.30 p.m. Eastern time, you get this updated information. So the timing of that information is great for when you wanna use it. We use 5.4 because we had a clear crossover. You, wanna, you can set your positions up. You can identify an opportunity. If you get the updated information at 6.30 p.m. Eastern time and you're getting bullishness across the board, like we were here on 5.4, no concerns there, bullishness across the board, you know that the next trade day, you know what you're looking for. If you're looking for an entry, you can use that predicted high and predicted low. Maybe use the market open. You know, I, I'm personally not a fan of market orders. Limit orders are, are really, uh, you know, from, from my personal opinion standpoint, uh, more beneficial, but you can still look at the market open to understand if the market is opening in a place where it could really cause, make you, you know, give you an advantageous entry. Let's call it that. And you can see 5.5, five, we've got that. We got a good market open right here at about 4.36 on BlackBerry. This is just one example. And you can set your limit order. You can set your entry, however your trade plan. You don't have to change how you time or how you, how you enter the markets. This is about knowing what day that ass is expected to trend, what direction it's expected to trend, how powerful that trend could be, and whether there's momentum supporting it. If you've got all of that, the night before, you can set up, you can identify a couple of key positions. If you've got the available capital and you're looking for one or two good trending opportunities the next day, we just walk through today exactly how to do that, all right? Randy says, how about PACW? PACW, let's look. Oh. PacWest Bank Corp, all right? So we're talking about a bank in this situation. The first thing we've got to understand is what was Vantage Point's forecast from a banking standpoint? Well, look, let's go back six months. Uh, the last time there was any bullishness in the bank was back here, February 7th. Vantage Point forecasts a crossover to the downside, Randy, on, on PacWest, right, on February 10th. Now, do me a favor, if you could, let me know in the questions box um, if, if you're a Vantage Point user or not. If you're a Vantage Point user, Hopefully you're using this and you could protect yourself February 10th. By the way, everybody can see. Then uh, this kind of answers a question from earlier. This is all news stuff, right? This is all news stuff that happened at the end of February, beginning of March for banks, right? End of February, beginning of March for banks. That's here. Well, Vantage Point was forecasting bearishness for this stock with agreement from the other indicators, February 10th. That's two, three weeks prior to that debacle, right, Randy? Hopefully, and tell me in the question box, I'll keep my eye on it, if you were able to use Vantage Point to protect your downside there, right? If you're able to protect your downside there, then this tool did exactly what it needed to do. If you're not a Vantage Point user, uh, let me be frank, go to vantagepointforecast.com and let us know if or can we, we can help you. you know, let us know if that's something you're interested in because there was immense bearishness all the way down to here. You can see there was a, a bullish crossover right here. Blue line crossed above, neural index was green. I got a lot of data on this chart, but you can see there was a little bullish pop right there, boop, right? You can see quick gains, bang, 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 and then across to the downside, maybe a little gain, maybe a break even. What do we have? Yeah, about a 1% gain there from crossover to crossover. But no matter how you slice it, Randy, you can see Vantage Point, the recent data on Vantage Point here. Let's just go into the, the last few weeks. Blue line below 428, neural index red, predictive differences pointed down, all three of them. So 428 indicated some bearishness on this stock. And from that day, from that's the close of that day, the open of the next day, uh, somebody was asking uh, about puts. Yeah, let's talk about puts. Sure. Here's a great example. PACW. You have to let me know if they have uh, if there's an options chain on Pack uh, on Pack West. I don't know if there is or isn't, but I can see that if there are, and I got on the close of this day 428 bearishness. Right. That was ten dollars and twelve cents. Again, 428, I can set a, an expiration on a put out 60 days, right? 60 days would take me to 528. Again, six, excuse me, 628, which would be the June expiration. I could, I could use the June monthly. And 
from that point on, if I buy a put at a $10 strike, $11 strike, depending on my strategy, if I want a, a 60 delta, a 70 delta that I'm buying at or in the money somewhere around there, maybe there's a 1050 put, uh, if it gives me that flexibility for Pack West, And if I got a 1050 put on that, you can see that in a matter of uh, just a couple of days. You don't have to hold the 60 days. That gives that option enough time to mature. But just in a matter of a couple of days, let's look. The underlying asset moved. Here's one day, two days. 36% to the downside. Ralph, this is hypothetical, right? 36% to the downside. Huge gap down, four days in, 70% to the downside on the underlying, Randy. I think it was you. Uh, yeah, okay. And anybody else. I'm talking to Randy because he was asking for the stock and the chat. But at that point, you can make the decision. Did that option hit my target, right? Did that give me the information that I needed to, to, to make a decision? If I'm still holding that, there's still, the underlying is still down 42% from that forecast. Vantage Point is also forecasting that there is some bearishness today. It's saying that the range of prices are expected to be lower than the, the range yesterday. We can do the same thing we did. Um, let me just go Google uh, PACW stock. And this is something we often do just so that we can get, a, again, an objective view. There you go. So it's down, it's at 573, it's down 4% today. It's uh, 573 is literally right here. So yeah, it's down again. Vantage points predicted high and low, said it was expected to be down. The shaded area is still down. There's a little bit of momentum the bearish momentum has come to an end and you can see that there's a bullish momentum spike. Remember, momentum is market conditions. My blue line hasn't changed. My primary care physician hasn't changed. I don't, as I said earlier, go back and watch it. I don't have to go interview a specialist or, or, or surgeons if I don't need to, if my primary indicator, my trend forecast is still bearish. So Bagger, you were asking about puts. Vantage Point is forecasting bearishly and bullishly just as accurately. It doesn't care about the direction, it cares about what the inner markets are saying that stock is expected to do, so then you can take that and apply it to your strategy, all right? Uh, Gloria, can you scan stocks? Oh yes, Gloria, and thank you. Um, yes, you can scan stocks, options, cryptos, all at the same time. All I have to do in that scan is drop in uh, you know, I can, I can, I can look, I'll do a new scan. Uh, and I can drop in all of the asset classes if I want to. If I just want to look at the Forex pairs, there's major pairs and cross pairs. And it's just that easy to scan for those opportunities, Gloria. So yes, you can certainly do that. Uh, uh, let me see. There was another question. Answered it. Answered it. There we go. Uh, sure, that's something that we can work on, Bagger. For those of you that utilize Vantage Point and want to customize your screen, you have flexibility. There's a lot of different things that you can do. Uh, we want to make sure that we've got a good real estate if I want to have a scan at the same time that I want to have stocks. At the same time that I want to see indicators on the right-hand side of my screen, it's customizable. I can simply grab an indicator, drag it over here to the right-hand side of my screen, and now that gives me indicators over here on the right-hand side so that if I want a different chart layout, I can customize that. All I did, all I did, by the way, is just grab that indicator name, hold with my left mouse click, and I moved it to the right. I can even move it back to the left if I want to. This is very customizable, and it sounds like, Bagger, you've got Vantage Point. Um, you know, obviously, I don't know you by your screen name, but you can see that I'm, I'm just dragging the indicators around and putting in them on what side of the screen I want them, depending on my strategy. This is very, very helpful for those of you that like to have a host of indicators like I do. I like to use a lot of momentum indicators, support and resistance. Um, you know, those are available as seasonal indicators, predicted Bollinger Bands. There's Once you've mastered these indicators that we're looking at, we can layer on, if you choose, um, you know, other indicators that are predicted. Yep, glad that was helpful, good. Uh, let me just look at the chats and see if I miss, missed any stock names. Oh, Icon, AVAH. Yep. AVAH is not in the Vantage Point software, and I'm glad you asked for that one. Here's one of the things that uh, a lot of traders don't realize is that 
Not every stock in the universe can be forecasted with artificial intelligence. Not everything that you try to do with AI is a beneficial thing to do with AI. What we've done here at Vantage Point is said, look, we want the AI to be an accurate forecast, right? Because you can, you can flip a coin and get 50-50, right? Flip a coin, get heads or tails, up or down. You can do that anytime. 50-50 is not an advantage, that's a gamble, right? So what we've done here is that we've put all of the stocks available out there through the artificial intelligence. We've let the AI find those inner markets, right? Figure out which ones it can forecast accurately. And then we've cut it off at about 70%. If it can't get around about a 70% accuracy in forecasting the trend direction, then are you really getting an advantage? 50% is a coin flip. 60% is a uh, even good odds, even better odds, but 70% all the way up to 87.4%, that's really stacking the odds in your favor. AVAH doesn't meet that accuracy requirement that we've got on the artificial intelligence. So here's what I would throw out to you, Icon. If the AI can't provide an accurate forecast over 70% and it's not in the software, should you trust your hard-earned money in that stock? If AI can't forecast it with all of its power and capabilities, the patented technology can't forecast it with a high degree of accuracy, then I can't imagine that I'd be able to do any better. So, you know, using what's in the software, in my opinion, I'm a software user, I have vantage point. So what is in the software and can be forecasted in the software gives me more confidence than what can't be doesn't mean you don't have to trade AVAH. It just means that I, I want the benefit of the artificial intelligence. Hopefully that was helpful, right? All right, thank you. Uh, so, all right, well, I appreciate everybody that's here. I can see that from a timing standpoint, I'm probably running a little bit longer than some people expected. I do appreciate everybody, uh, your comments, your interactivity. If you've got a last minute question and you wanna pop it in, pop it into the questions box. If you're not a Vantage Point user, you can get your questions answered by going to www.vantagepointforecast.com. If you already have this technology and you're part of the Vantage Point family, reach out to your trainer, reach out to your Vantage Point University coach. If you've got individual questions, we're here to help. At the end of the day, if we can provide and help traders get on the right side of the markets more often, then we're doing a good thing for traders around the world and, and, and we uh, appreciate that opportunity. So. I don't see any other questions coming through, uh, but I appreciate your time today. Thank you for being here and thank you for letting me give you the view from my vantage point. I'm signing off. Have a good week, everybody.